Hey, this is Travis, co-founder of Hero Hair. Cosplay Weeks for the Series Adventure. I'm also the creative director. Hello and happy Transformation Tuesday, if that's when you're catching this video. Uh, I'm going to try to keep this intro brief, um, because I know you guys want to get right to it, but it does uh, require a little bit of a caveat, so bear with me. Uh, coming to you live from uh, our Brooklyn Satellite Studio and um, my Cave of Wonders. Yeah. This is where it all happens when I'm working, uh, unless I go to our Manhattan studio. And that was kind of what I wanted to bring to the fore here before we get to your tutorial. Uh, Hero Hair is coming up on its fifth year anniversary. And we are always improving uh, our message. We're always improving uh, our, our educational offerings to be as polished and to be as clear and to be as helpful to you guys as possibly can be. And it's been a very long road to get to this point. Uh, and we're finally there. We're finally able to start disseminating all this information to you guys to start giving you the power of knowledge. Because as I say at our panels, knowledge is a superpower. So let's do that. Let's, let's embolden you with a superpower of how to do uh, a proper pin curl set. But before you watch this video, this is going to be the first uh, in a couple of series of videos uh, specifically about wig prep in the coming weeks and how critically important it is to your transformative illusion. We'll have examples of what happens when you don't have a proper wig prep with one of our wigs uh, as an example of, of where it can go and, 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 and why uh, we stress prep, prep, prep. Uh, Aaron, my partner, uh, Aaron Kennedy Lunsford, our founder, our uh, head wig master and uh, fabricator uh, who works every day in the motion picture and television industry. Uh, she often says, you know, sometimes I spend 45 minutes just on prep on an actor to get their wig on. So it does need to be taken into account when you guys get ready and you really want to create a human appearance and avoid what's called the uncanny valley. Google the uncanny valley, you'll know what we're talking about. Uh, more on that in another video. So, as I want to keep this short, the video that you're about to see was shot, it was one of the very first things that we shot, and, it, and it's the video that we send to our clients when they come on and have commissioned us to crown their cosplay with a hero hair custom wig. And it's one of the many educational uh, supplemental documents and PDFs and videos and, and support material uh, packets that we send to a client when they come on because not only do we create the wig, we also have to train our clients to wear a production level wig. It's an entirely different animal uh, than anything that they've been used to prior. You know, HD film lace and proper prep and all the things that go into it. Uh, and that's why we crown them, uh, you know, via Skype, and we train via Skype. And, and if we're on site at a con, as you can see on our videos, we crown them at the cons and get them ready ourselves. We travel out in Airbnb uh, to an Airbnb um, out of state, and, and you know, we get tons of our clients ready all the time. But they also have to be able to do this themselves because we can't be everywhere all the time. Although we are available, always available to Skype, no matter where you are at a con, we will get up at three in the morning if you're in Denmark, and we do. So. Uh, we planned on releasing this eventually to the public, and uh, and we were at a con recently where it became very evident that this really needs to get out. Uh, a, a woman brought her, her young daughter, I think she was probably 12 or 13, if that, to our booth at Awesome Con, and her wig was falling all over her head, and she was literally holding it on her head. She said, Hero Hair, I need, she literally said, Hero Hair, I need a rescue. And I said, of course we're going to help you out. So we gave her a proper wig prep. We took her wig off. We did pin curl sets. We gave her a wig cap. We pinned it, the whole thing. And I mean, it was a hard front wig, but still she came out of that uh, much more successful in her appearance. She was comfortable. Um, you know, it, it was stabilized, and, uh, and they thanked us on Instagram. So, we, so that was kind of like the catalyst for it is time to release these videos. Here's the caveat. This video was shot when we first started right here on the other side of this camera in my office in our Brooklyn loft before we moved into our second location in Manhattan, uh, in New York, Manhattan Island in Chelsea. To our, we have a huge studio space and, and you know, we expanded. Uh, and it's been about a year and a half um, coming up on, it's going to be coming up on two years soon enough. So we started transparently uh, even back then with the intent of somebody seeing this eventually. Uh, but the production quality and the production value of this video is not as good as I would like it to be as to where we are right now. I want this stuff polished for you guys. I want it clear. I want it concise. I don't want you to look at it and feel like you're missing something. So not that you'll miss anything in this video, but it's a little dark. Uh, you know, it, uh, it's, 
it has everything, but I want to give you more. I want to do uh, a new video. So what we're going to be doing is take this now and use this. This will help you get started, trust me. And, and it's got the information in it of how to do a proper pin curl set with long hair to don a wig. Now we're using one of our custom wigs in this video. Uh, when we shot this video because our clients needed to be able to see the lace, we used a theatrical lace for this wig. So you will see it a little bit. You, you guys all know that we use HD film lace, which is pretty much invisible. So this is for demonstration purposes only, but it'll give you a good idea of how to actually put the wig on as well. A little bit of spirit gum, we're going to include that. So this is kind of like a whole, you know, start to finish how to apply a custom wig. But really, if you have a lace front wig, if you have a hard front wig, this will benefit you tremendously just to get the prep right. And we'll talk about more stuff about this video later, but we're going to completely reshoot it in our brand new Manhattan studio, and we're going to upload it probably within the next two to three weeks max. It's already on the schedule rotation. We're going to do a full thing, a full new narration. Uh, narration. Uh, there's going to be, you'll see in this video, there's a little bit of animation where we talk about putting on uh, one of the sealers we use before we put on the, uh, the adhesion, uh, the adhesive. Uh, I'm going to do cutaways in the new video. I'm going to do a full plotting of where the pin curls go so it's clear and light and bright in some kind of you know rotatable animation uh, for you guys. So you can, and, and you know, we'll number the pins, uh, the pin curl sets. Uh, if you have long hair, if you have short hair, I really want to make it like an all-to go-to video for pin curling for your wig cap. So that's going to be coming soon. So right now, treat this as kind of a preliminary introduction into how to do a proper pin curl set and how our clients do it and how this we do this for film and TV every single day. This is a professional pin curl set for your wig. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Thanks for listening and uh, we'll be back soon with a lot more of these videos. The following is a special presentation of Hero Hair. Cosplay wigs for the serious adventurer. Please make sure to have your official Hero Hair Con Kit ready to go for this procedure and the physical application of your wig. This tutorial consists of four parts. Part 1, pin curling for your wig cap. Part 2, alcohol prep. Part 3, final seal application. And finally, part 4, wig application itself and spirit gum. Please make sure to have all available materials listed ready to go in a clean and orderly workstation in order to apply your wig. If you've already received and reviewed and are comfortable with our pin curling tutorial on its own, you may fast forward to part two, alcohol prep. However, we do recommend a quick review of that tutorial, again, present here in its entirety in part one before beginning this procedure. Hero Hair Ventilation Specialist and Wig Historian Alyssa Battersby will now demonstrate how to apply proper pin curls for your wig. Brush through your hair, releasing knots. You should be able to separate your hair into one to two inch square sections. If possible, separate your hair into sections, divide and conquer. This approach will allow you to focus on one section at a time. Start by pin curling the front sections of your hair. The pin curls around the circumference of your head are the most important because they provide a solid foundation for the wig pins to grab onto. Pin curl in square sections as best you can using a tail comb to help you. 
Pin curls formed like this are the most stable and will provide you with a clean, solid prep. The difference between a believable and wiggy look depends on the accuracy of your prep. If you are unfamiliar with or are having difficulty with pin curling, no worries. A Hero Hair representative will be more than happy to assist you. Work your way from front to back, finishing at the nape, forming two clear pin curls. These pin curls, like the front, are your security and are a solid foundation for your pins to attach. Now you are ready to put on your wig cap. Choose a color based on the color of your wig, avoiding caps that are too dark or too light as it could show through.
stretch your cap over your head from back to front and pull the edges back to expose your natural hairline. Wig caps are one size fits all, no matter the circumference of your head. The cap will stretch and contract to fit snug to your head. Hero Hair clients will be instructed on our preferred wig cap brands. Use the tail end of your comb to secure any hair coming out of your cap. Take your time with this process. It's better to tuck away these hairs now than when the wig is on your head. Using small two inch hairpins, pin the cap in four areas, at your temples and at the nape to hold the cap in place. Tuck in extra slack in the cap. It is your choice if you want to pin it into place. Your prep is now finished. Use alcohol prep pads or alcohol and a brush to clean all makeup and oil from your face, creating a clear palette for your spirit gum. As Alyssa demonstrates, it's important to bear in mind that this tutorial is only the sum of its parts, visual and expository. Please watch as Alyssa demonstrates the care and method of how to begin and continue then forward in cleaning your skin with alcohol preps. We'll be cutting away to a small diagram which is going to start to include another compound known as Final Seal. Please watch carefully. Take notes if you need to and pay very close attention to the differences of what we are about to demonstrate. As Alyssa has shown you, we've begun alcohol prep and cleaning of the oils and dirt from the skin in preparation for our wig, going up the sides of the temples toward the forehead. We would like you to continue that momentum forward following this arc across the forehead where the lace will lay against the skin, cleaning carefully as shown all oils from the skin with your alcohol prep pads. Once removal of the oil and dirt from the skin has been completed, it's now time for final seal, which you'll find in your Hero Hair Con kit supplied by us with your wig. Final seal is a small sprayable bottle that will be applied to a cotton swab, much like any makeup application. The purpose of final seal is simple. It closes your pores, providing a completely smooth surface which the spirit gum will adhere to. This strict adhesion of spirit gum will allow further stability of the wig and avoid any fly-ups of the lace from the temples, avoiding anything more than standard care and maintenance every few hours during your con appearance. Gently swab the final seal across the complete arc of your forehead, exactly where you took the time to clean with the alcohol prep pads. Do this carefully and slowly. Remember, the demonstration animation is a little fast. You'll want to take more time than that. Allow one to two minutes to dry. Now you are ready to put your wig on. Make sure all pins are removed from the block or form and remove the wig from back to front.
Hold the wig by its foundation, making sure any contact you have with the lace is as gentle as possible. Familiarize yourself with the center of the wig, remembering that your wig may have a side part or no part. Bring the wig to your head and align the lace to your face as shown. Now is the time to make sure your wig is centered. Once you are comfortable, lay the lace further forward on your face and walk the wig back to lead to the nape. Check that the circumference is flat and that no part of your wig is tucked or wrinkled, emphasizing on the lace. To pin your wig in place, use small 2-inch hair pins at your front hairline. Apply the pin by gently pinching the pin between your fingers and slide it in just behind the hairline underneath the lace and nylon wig cap. You will want at least two of these pins on each side, but a Hero Hair representative may suggest more. Focus the pins to the end of your sideburn and temple areas. You will need to practice this to learn to pin your wig invisibly, and you may need to pull out a pin and try again. The pins should be inserted toward the back of your head, and all pins inserted should point toward the crown of your head from any angle. Add a final central pin at your forehead. We will now apply the spirit gum to your lace. As we've demonstrated so far, we're following a pretty natural arc across the temples reaching up to the forehead, and we'll be doing so again in just a moment, and Alyssa is going to demonstrate for us. However, when applying the spirit gum, a rule of thumb is the top of the forehead is generally a safe area which doesn't really require spirit gumming to hold firm if the temples are done correctly. We want to go about the distance of these arrows, but if you feel like you need a little dab of extra coverage, don't be afraid to pull back a little bit extra, turning up and exposing just a bit of the lace and giving a few dabs for good measure. To apply the spirit gum, use a brush or disposable lip gloss applicator. Submerge the brush or applicator in the adhesive and remove excess along the edge of the lid. Make sure you know where application is necessary. In most cases, this means the edges of the lace to make sure the lace is not curling up or shifting. Gently lifting the lace with your fingers or a comb 
Apply a thin layer of spirit gum from approximately the temple area to where the lace is trimmed, generally parallel to the bottom of the earlobe. Be sure you are not pulling on or stretching the lace at any time. Apply the spirit gum one side at a time. Use your finger to tap the spirit gum repeatedly until you feel it get tacky. You will know it is time to lay the lace when the spirit gum's consistency is thicker, stringy, and it will pick up your skin while you're tapping. At this point, run your finger along the lace starting from center and lay it over the tacky spirit gum. You will want to use a different finger from the finger you use to tap the spirit gum. Repeat on the other side. Now pin the back of the wig with three inch long hairpins. As shown, insert the pin downward at the nape and flip the pin to secure it under the pin curls. Again, a hero hair representative will suggest how many pins you will need at the back depending on your wig. Smooth any flyaways and do any last minute touches. Use alcohol or adhesive remover and a brush or an alcohol wipe to remove the adhesive from your face and the lace. Do not use a wipe that you have previously used. You may gently coax the lace to lift but do so very gently. Once the spirit gum has been de-adhesed, carefully remove in small areas as you first apply, taking great care not to stress the lace in any way. A small video segment depicting Alyssa removing a hero hair wig should indicate the care necessary to remove your custom cosplay wig. After the adhesive is removed, you may remove the pins from the front of your wig.
remove the wig from back to front. This is important to ensure any pins you may have missed at the front. Do not put stress on the lace during removal. Remember that you applied a pin at the center of the front hairline. Put the wig back on the block or form, making sure no edges are tucked or wrinkled and it is centered on the form. Secure the wig into place with two 3-inch corsage pins. Thank you for watching this tutorial. The proceeding was a special presentation brought to you by Hero Hair. Cosplay wigs for the serious adventurer. It's made with unicorn hair. down to the dent.